All right, everybody, Chobongo RS back with another video. This one is a guide on demonic gorillas. Uh, demonic gorillas are unlocked after the Monkey Madness 2 quest. You also fight them during the quest, so if you're here for that, um, you know where you're going to need to be at. You're not going to follow exactly my step-by-step, -step, um, but I'm sure that you can figure out where they're at. So, hanging out here with Hazelmere, but we'll get right into it. We're going to go ahead and commune with the Royal Seed Pod. If you're uh, doing the Monkey Madness 2 quest, you just got to make your way over here to the Grand Tree. We are going to run out, and then we're going to run down here to the northwest. There's an opening in the fence. You are going to pass through that opening. While I'm running over here, uh, once I make it through this opening, I will put my inventory and gear setup on the screen. You do want to come down here, preferably with melee and range, because they do pray uh, protection prayers. And having a swap just allows you to deal with that. So basically the entire fight, um, these monsters are set up as sort of like a demi boss. So here you have the torture gorillas. The demonic gorillas are over here. They're praying. So this fight is set up as sort of a demi boss. They are, uh, they are capable of praying protection prayers and also attacking with all three combat styles. So it's going to be a bit of a, um, let me get this torture gorilla off of me here. But basically, all three combat styles, look at that, this one decided to PJ me, but all three combat styles, as you can see right now, he's protecting range and he's attacking me with melee. When he says Ra, that means he switched. So that green blob there, that is a magic attack. Um, there's not really any way to tell which that they're going to do. I was just uh, lucky. So he said Ra again. There's range. Looks like an egg. Get my uh, blowpipe out here. His ranging potion. He said, Ra, now he's walking towards me, so I know that he's going to uh, attack me with melee. All right, guys, post-production Chobango here. I don't think that I made it clear enough in this video. So when they switch combat styles, they're always going to switch to a new combat style. They will never do the same combat style twice in a row. And if you have distance on them, like I did in that clip there, and you're attacking them with range, and they begin to walk towards you, you know it's going to be melee. If they don't start to walk towards you, you know that they've switched to the other uh, ranged combat style, so either ranged to magic or magic to ranged, depending on which one they're doing. Because again, they'll never do the same ones in a row, and they will never walk towards you unless they're going to melee you. But anyway, basically, um, every time that you do um, about 50 damage to them with the combat style, they are going to switch prayers like you just did, and then you're going to want to uh, go ahead and switch combat styles. It says Ra there, he walks over to me. He switches to protect from range, so we'll go ahead and switch over. And as you can see, uh, these guys really are not that difficult. Um, you just have to pay a certain amount of attention so that you know when they're um, uh, when they're switching their attack style or when they're switching their prayer. So like right there, he switches to protect range. Just go over here, poke him with the repair. Go ahead and kill this one. So, something that you didn't see here, Rune Arrows, it's not very, not very good. But something that you didn't see here, um, on that kill, is that these, these gorillas do sometimes cause rocks to fall from the ceiling. When the rocks fall from the ceiling, it's as simple as just moving out of the way, uh, so you don't take damage from them. It's really, it isn't complex, you'll just, you'll see the rock falling, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, move out of the way of that. Another tip I like to do, if you just saw me do it there, so here's the rock, just move out of the way. You don't need to be two, uh, two spots away or anything, you just need to move um, off of the direct tile that it's going to land on. And they'll always spawn right over your head, so you will always have to move. So there's the rock. As you can see, no problem, go ahead and switch to protect from range. Every three zeros that they hit on you, so he will change right here. Switch to uh, melee. So every three zeros that they hit, um, or after hitting three zeros in a row, they will change their attack style. And after taking 50 damage from you from an attack style, they will uh, change their prey. So go ahead and move over here. And once I finish this one off, we'll... Uh, We'll go ahead and end the video. But I hope that you guys found this useful. 
if you would um, like a more in-depth guide to the demonic gorillas instead of just kind of a real short overview of uh, the mechanics, real basic overview like I like to do, um, let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Thank you all uh, very much for your support in the comments. Have a wonderful day.